Hello and welcome back to the tribe. I'm sure you all enjoy cruising your favorite open world map or famous tracks such as Nordschleife in Assetto Corsa. But to be there on the tarmac all alone just doesn't cut it and takes a lot away from the immersion. Just at this point the possibility of adding traffic comes into play. Maybe many of you are wondering how to do that exactly. My fellow tribesmen, in this video I'm going to show you how to add simple traffic to your maps and what software you need with which settings to do it. So let's start. The softwares you need are actually the content manager and the custom shaders patch. If you don't have content manager yet, you can go to acstuff.ru and you can find and download content manager for free. Content manager is just a single executable file and when you start it, you just show it where your AC folder is installed and you are good to go. First and foremost, after you install Content Manager, you have to download and install Custom Shaders Patch. It is fairly simple. You go to the settings from the top right, and then to Custom Shaders Patch tab, and you will be greeted with the button to install the CSP. Once you get that, you will want to go to the new AI behavior settings on the left pane. Here you will find the settings for how you want your AI cars to behave on your tracks. The settings on this page is toned down quite a bit in recent CSP versions, but it will get you started just fine. You make sure that the extension is active, AI flood is checked, and make sure check the box for get back to the race after going to the pits. This will make sure that AI cars will continue on for further laps if the track has a mandatory pit lane entry after each lap, such as Nordschleife. Now your software is set up for starters. At this point, it is important to mention that there are tracks which have the necessary AI traffic file included and there are tracks which don't. For both of these type of tracks, you need to be in the track day mode under the drive tab. So this means if you want traffic on your tracks, you have to start your map in track day mode. Once in here, you will see the settings such as opponent strength, aggression, grid type, number of opponents and candidates. I personally keep the strength at 75, so the AI cars just don't put pedal to the metal and drive more slowly, and aggression below 85, so that AI cars don't drive too aggressively, which will cause less accidents. Under grid type, you can filter the AI cars you want to see on your track. Under filter, you can predefine the AI cars according to the predefined categories here or you can add the AI cars you want one by one with the plus button besides the candidate section. Once you click the plus, you will be able to search and add any type of car you have in your collection. I will leave a link in the description with generic traffic cars pack originally created for Shotoko Revival project, but you can use them on any track you like. Now, opponent number is kind of important, since it defines the number of cars spawning around you a very high number can choke your PC right down. Therefore, I suggest you select a number from 12 to 16. This number is fairly okay for all kind of map sizes. Don't forget, once this number goes too high, there will be too much traffic and pileups on your tracks. Of course, if you trust your PC and want more bumper to bumper traffic, you can increase this number. Okay, so you are now actually good to go and to start your map. Remember, if your map you want with traffic doesn't have the proper AI traffic settings or you don't have any mods for your track to include this, the traffic will be always one directional. So that means you can go ahead and start LA Canyon's free versions, but you will have only one-way traffic. You need that two-way AI traffic feature on your map. For LA Canyon's, I would suggest you go ahead and buy a coffee for the modder and get these versions. Of course, there are modders on racedepartment.com who kindly produce two-way traffic modes for certain maps other than LA Canyons as well. Here's an example for Union Island. You can just download this, copy and paste it to your Union Island track folder and you will have two-way traffic in a track day mode with the settings of your liking. Well, that's been it. I hope this tutorial will help you enjoy AC more. If you like my content, please leave a like, a comment and consider subscribing. See you in another video. Take care.